Medicine is an art and what we learn in textbooks normally doesn't play out in real life. There's a lot of gray in medicine. The brain waves in this scene are flat, which if she was dead, that would be accurate. guys, it's your girl NeuroGalMD. For those of you who are not familiar with me, I am a neurologist and a YouTuber who loves to make brain-related videos. I am obsessed with the brain, uh, hence the reason why I went into neurology as a career. Today I thought I would branch out a little bit and create a video in which I critique a neurology-related scene from a medical TV show. I used to be obsessed with medical TV shows, actually just one, Grey's Anatomy, when I was younger, and then once I progressed into medical school, I stopped watching it just because I really didn't have enough time. And the other day, I was scrolling through different like medical TV show clips, and I came across one that was neurology related, and I started watching it, and critiquing it and I thought well why not just do this for my subscribers so today I'm going to talk about the medical accuracies and inaccuracies of a clip from the good doctor in which one of the main characters Morgan she's a physician she induces a seizure in her mom let's get started with this mystery science theater neurogal style Today I won the regional science fair, getting five other schools including those nerds from Austin Prep. Do you know what you said to me? That you were so glad I had something to fall back on. Ooh. I'm aware. Okay. You see those little stickies on her mom's head, on her face? Those are electrodes for something called an electroencephalogram or an EEG. An EEG measures brainwave activity and looks for any evidence of seizures. There's a monitor behind her mom with little green lines. That is supposed to represent the actual EEG study with the brain waves. Now, it looks like the brain waves in this scene are flat, which if she was dead, that would be accurate. But a real EEG of a live, awake person looks different. You see these little squiggles all over the the screen that represents awake brain activity. This is a clip of an EEG of a, an awake person. You just see some scattered brain activity, brain waves with variable frequencies. Aware of your feelings about me as a mother. I'm aware that our values are different. It doesn't mean I don't love you. I always have. It didn't matter that you weren't creative. You seriously don't think there's creativity in what I do? I think that's something technical people tell themselves. But it's not a moral judgment. It's the luck of the draw. I'm an artist. You're a hard worker little comment on that. Creativity is required of good physicians. Medicine is an art and what we learn in textbooks normally doesn't play out in real life. There's a lot of gray in medicine and not a lot of black and white, not a lot of clear-cut answers. We as physicians need to be able to take what is thrown at us and be able to traverse that and think out of the box many times so that we could do what's best for the patient. An example of this is a neurosurgeon who comes across an anomalous blood vessel in a patient's brain. The patient's brain and his or her blood vessels are not textbook. So the neurosurgeon needs to figure out how to bypass this anomalous blood vessel so that he doesn't nick it and then accidentally cause damage. These things come up all the time in medicine, not just surgeries, but in many medical scenarios in all different medical specialties. Like every day that I practice medicine, something unexpected 
comes along my way and I have to figure out how to fix it and deal with it in a creative way so as to not get so overwhelmed because it doesn't fit by the book. So the fact that the mom is saying that her daughter is not creative implies that she doesn't think that medicine requires creativity, which it absolutely does. August 12th, 2014, Times Art section. I don't want to hear it. Caroline Resnick's showing at the Armory is a lesson in what happens when a once interesting artist sits too long on her laurels. That woman hated me for years. She was waiting for an opportunity. Bad judgment doesn't begin to explain what went wrong with every stroke of this ill-conceived, I mean, really happened. Many negative words can be piled together. Yeah, she hasn't even gotten to that part about that modern Madonna piece that you were so proud of. What, remember what she, what she called it? What was <gasps> Put that thing down! so morgan caused so much emotional stress in her mom that her mom had a seizure is it possible for someone to get so stressed that they have a seizure yes if they're already predisposed to having seizures in the first place emotional stress can provoke seizures in someone who has a seizure disorder, also known as epilepsy. Another thing I wanted to comment on was the physical description of her mom's seizure. The actress was trying to convey a generalized convulsion or a generalized tonic-clonic seizure, also known as a GTC or a grand mal seizure. Those types of seizures involve convulsive activity of all of the extremities. That did not look like an epileptic generalized tonic-clonic seizure. In an epileptic generalized tonic-clonic seizure, the patient goes through two phases, the tonic phase in which the person stiffens up, the whole body stiffens up like a board, followed by a clonic phase involving rhythmic contractions of the extremities. She did not stiffen up at all. Immediately she started convulsing all over. She kind of looked loose in the way she was shaking, a, an epileptic GTC, the person who's shaking is a lot more rigid. Now her eyes were open, and, and that is true. An epileptic, generalized tonic-clonic convulsion, people, people generally have their eyes open. Um, sometimes they'll look like they're blinking, um, but that's just because the muscles of the eyelids are twitching along with the rest of their body. Oh, did you see how her hand just flopped over the bed frame? Her hand was pretty loose. You don't see that in a epileptic convulsive seizure. Her hand would be drawn up in a fist, typically. And uh, did you notice how her daughter was trying to hold her down? For anybody who witnesses a seizure, the last thing you want to do is hold the person down because that can dislocate joints. What you want to do instead is turn the person on their sides. You want to turn them on their sides because you don't want them to aspirate on any saliva. If they're on their back, there's a possibility they could choke on their own saliva. Make sure their head is under something soft and not getting hurt. Make sure that none of their limbs are banging against something hard. If they are, then remove the, the object in their way and just let the seizure pass. And then obviously if they, if you, you, you don't know their history, their medical history, call 911 immediately. Or if you know them and you're not familiar with them having seizures, obviously call 911. And don't put anything in their mouth either. There's an old wives tale that says that you should put a spoon in people's mouth so that they don't swallow their tongues while they're, while they're seizing. That's, that's a big no-no. That could break teeth, that could break jaws. It's a myth that people can sw swallow their tongues. Uh, yeah, so that's the EEG and it's not flat anymore. Uh, it's conveying brain waves, but I actually don't see any seizure activity from my gross evaluation of the monitor. I mean, it, it looks like there's a lot of movement, which you can see when a patient is moving a lot, like in a seizure, the scalp electrodes will record that, and you can see that movement 
on the monitor and it kind of obliterates the, the brain waves to a certain extent. But she also just looks kind of awake and I see no, no evidence of seizure activity. This is what seizure activity looks like on an EEG. You've got these rhythmic spiking wave discharges. Overall, I think this clip could have used more medical expertise to, to give more accuracy to what uh, an epileptic seizure looked like. Y you know, another thought is that maybe this woman doesn't have seizures. Uh, maybe she's got a seizure mimic. Uh, there are plenty of, of seizure-like events that could also be triggered by stress and that don't show up as seizure activity on the EEG. That's a possibility, but I don't think that's likely. I think they were actually trying to convey that this lady was having an epileptic seizure. So I think it could have used a, a little more medical expertise from someone familiar with seizures. So that's it folks. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button, leave a comment. If you didn't like the video, you can dislike the video, whatever floats your boat. And make sure <clears throat> to subscribe to my channel for more awesome content about the brain. We'll catch you next time.